Hello guys, I am Azhar Jamal. So let us uh, discuss what we, uh, let us recap what we discussed yesterday, right? So um, let me open part 3B of logical operators. Let me open the agenda. So we discussed yesterday about logical operators, how many logical operators are there. First is AND. So we have seen an example for this. It all the statements only becomes true if both conditions are true. We saw negative and positive example of this. So if a is equal to b is equal to 4, and here a is not equal to 0, b is not equal to 0. If you are use, using logical and, so output is true. If either or this condition becomes false, or if both are false, this AND operator will give a Boolean value as false. Okay. We saw yesterday about OR. It is also called logical OR. It becomes true in two conditions. If A is equal to 0, A is equal to B is equal to 4. If both are true, it is true. If either or if this, either this condition or if either this, uh, that condition becomes true, it is true. If both are false, then or become false. So uh, let us move to a th uh, third logical operator, which is not, not is a logical operator. Whatever the statement we have, if you add not to it, if the condition is true altogether, if we add not, the output will, ha will have the reverse of the original condition. If this condition is true, the not will make it as false. So, uh, ZOR is the fourth logical operator we have. ZOR is a combination of NOT and OR. In this case, um, it becomes only true if A or B either are true. If both are true, like in this condition, it is false. And if both are, if both are false, then output is false. Only if either OR if this condition is either true or if this condition is either true, at least if one condition is true, output is true. Okay, moving on to this topic. Let me just close this. Let me open our agenda of fourth part. So this is conditional statement. So let me open an agenda for us. Agenda for part four. So, what are conditional statements? So, how many types of conditional statements are there, right? So, what are conditional statements? Conditional statements, you can call this as or decision making statements. So, um, we'll discuss this in uh, detail. So, as this is my favorite topic, today we'll um, go in a different track to decide what are the conditional statements. Okay, just me, uh, let me just write what are the conditional statements we have. We have if clause, if clauses, second we have if else if, Third, we have switch clauses, etc. So um, let me have if let me register if else is the clause or if else if third one let's have uh, switch statements. Switch statements. So, um, let us discuss only this part in this, in this part, this part 4A. Let us put part 4A, right? That will be uh, logical here. Because there might be more videos on part 4. So, so let me uh, tell you one story. Then we can understand it clauses better. Right? So, let me close this. Let me open this. Let us edit this. So, uh, when I was in my 10th class, 
so we had to decide whether we have to take we have to become an engineer or a doctor the path starts from school right from school first to 10th there is nothing to choose we have to cover it up to 10th so from 10th from 10th class uh, we have we can choose either by pc or mpc so by pc will uh, lead for you to go to the path of doctor or medical field mpc will make us grow to become an engineer right so let me give you some pictorial presentation but yeah this is just for fun so this is not exactly me but yeah <laughs> i'm just drawing this so let us keep this as a person right so if a you know let this me just try a right if this a guy is studying a 10th class right so let me just draw a simple line what is he doing now he's studying 10th right maybe he's in final exams what is he doing he's studying no, sorry let me start a text um he's in 10th right so um this leads when he's in 10th class we had to choose two things right so either to go for by pc or mpc so um let me just draw one okay, let me uh, just put red um right so um let me just add it here uh, on that side maybe uh, you can reduce it okay let us reduce it right oh uh, sorry we have to let's go to home let's select again uh let me just click it here yes so uh, this is an engineer okay uh, we can write a different font right uh, maybe we can black so engineer let us have adapter clause here let us have A doctor fine so after this 10th class he has to make an important decision in life right so whether he wants to go for an engineer whether he wants to uh, he wants to go for a doctor so to study in to become an engineer we have something called um, here we have uh, let us just reduce the font maybe to 10 or not 10 it is like very small uh, 26 okay m by pc right here if you want to become a doctor we have to select we have to select by pc so by pc so um, by p See, I'll tell you what are the by PC and MPC. And here, this one, it should not be like this. So, okay. just remove it. Let me just write it again. So, it should be MPC, not M by PC. M P C. Right. So, this is nothing but um, by P C. So MPC is nothing but maths, physics, and chemistry. So BIPC is nothing but uh, biology, physics, and chemistry. It, is, it all depends on A, uh, getting the marks, getting higher marks on maths, and it's higher marks on biology. So it, it's a very difficult decision for A to make. So what do we have? VB script has a solution, right? So VB script has something called if clauses, if, if, if and else statement. 
So let us see an example what is a final statement. So I'll just let it sing through right there. So I'll just close it. So I'll open a new program, right? So this is this I'll write a this line. So important decision, right? Important decision. Let me just double click it. So um how much uh, what are the marks he got in a so let us let us see a has got marks um in math right let me follow canada place math marks out of 100 he got 90 right so science marks science the other subject which we have in 10 so math and science We got 93. So we must have a solution for A. And I know this is uh, not a decision making uh, condition, but just in a programmable way for us to understand more. So if, uh, if maths marks are greater than, so I am using here comparison operator science marks right then he has to choose then just print a statement from, from the computer buddy you can take mpc so else if Okay, just uh, just let us end it, end it right? So um, I'll explain you in detail about this. First, let me write if condition. Condition dot BBS. Fine, let me just close it. Let me just double click it. Okay, um, we got an error here. Uh, so, expert end of statement. Okay, uh, what is the end of statement here? So, um, max marks are greater than and max marks. So we don't have we don't have to have dot here. Fine. Uh, save it. Close it. Double click it. Um, okay. So what if we gave uh, 94, right? So, so we have an answer here. Buddy, you can take MPC. So uh, let me open the chat files, right? Let me edit it. So, so he, if he gets more marks in maths, he can go for engineer. So we are deciding a life path for this age. So, uh, what if he got marks in a different way? What if math science marks were higher? Right? So, if clause will only give maths better than science. So, we might have to write one more condition here, right? So, else. Else. Buddy, you can take by PC. So let us end the statement. Let's just save it. Just double click it, and the decision of A comes here. Or you can take by this. Fine. So this is a simple example which I showed, but let me tell you what if clause syntax looks like. So just I'll write it here. No, sorry, I'll write it in the agenda. So uh, let me just save this file. Close it. Let us go to agenda. Oh, let's sorry. Let me save this agenda. Save as. Uh, okay, then. No, it is done. Uh, so, uh, if uh, clauses, we have condition statement, right? So, if 
condition then print statement you can write print statement here so it ends it end if so this is the syntax for if and there is another syntax for if else so condition then print statement else print statement Just let me divide this both so that uh, confusion will be avoided. So this is the syntax for if uh, we have to write if condition. It can be a uh, uh, VB script is case insensitive, so if can be a smaller capital letter condition. Any condition here followed by then we can write any print statement here. And if similar condition is followed by if else if condition then print statement else and if print statement. Fine. Uh, let me save the agenda. Let me go to uh, to Ace Life again. Let me just edit it. So, um, uh, just a funny example which we can uh, write for our if clause. Uh, if you like this kind of videos, like if you want to discuss more about funny examples and explain our concepts, let me know in the comments below. So, uh, let me just close it. Let me just go to a program again. So let me explain what we have what we did here. So A got maths mark maths marks 94. So B got science marks as 97. So we wrote a simple program. This is nothing but if else if else condition. So previously we wrote if condition. So when we write this one, there is nothing but a comma, right? If he got more mar more marks than max. So of course he can go for MPC. He can decide his career, right? So he can decide his career as engineer. So this one he can decide his career as well, right? Um, okay, guys. Uh, for this only this much for this video. Let us discuss more clauses in future videos. Uh, please like. Please, if you like the video, please like subscribe and share and um, hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos you can see in the left hand side left left side hand side bottom we can, we can have uh, more and more videos to watch till then goodbye thank you for watching